All right, Shalom. Kahala Yahawu, Bahasham, Yahweshai, Bahasham Raka Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace salutations unto the hopeful elect. Lord willing, once again, I am the brother Yawasa, and the topic of to, tonight's show will be entitled, all right, Salah. The topic of tonight's show will be entitled, The Lord Will Lead and Guide Through in Difficult Times. All right, The Lord Will Lead and Guide Through in difficult times. The, the Lord, the Son of the Most High, will, will guide his elect. All right? He will lead and guide his elect in, in, in the time of Jacob's trouble. All right? And in, in, in the difficult times that have that have that are approaching. All right. Now for people like myself, on a personal level, all right, uh, we have known mostly nothing but bitterness and and difficult times most of our lives, man. All right, because that's you learn the hard way that that's what being in this society is really all about. It, it's uh, you know uh, for those of us that learn. Whom we really are, Israelites. We are really paying a penalty for our sins in this society. We are really paying for, you know, we, we are under punishment. All right? We are under a sentence for, you know, for crimes committed against the, the Most High, against the Lord, for, for turning our back on Him. So this is why he has subjected, you know, his people, all right, to undergo all manner of, of bitterness and harshness in this white man's society. Because right now, this is really his heaven. It's his glory. It's his paradise. And he'll fight tooth and nail to try and preserve to keep what's left of it, man. All right? He's going to try and, and defy the Lord himself in these last days by means of his military, his technology. All right? He's going to try and defy the very forces that made him and made his, his reign on the planet Earth possible. But he will lose bitterly. And he himself knows that. All right? So the bottom line here is, is that, no, you know, no matter how more difficult it may get, the Lord will lead and guide those, of, those that he deems worthy of his elect in these last days, man. All right? And basically, all right, I can also speak to, for myself in this matter. I had, I had a, a you know, I, I have uh, my own personal testimony, all right, uh, based on a dream, a vision that I had. You know, it's a, it's a few years old already. I don't know if I've shared this, this story before, but um, you know. The, the Lord made it possible that that this be the, the, the evening, the moment that I'll do so. And basically, I had this dream, all right? It, it was a vision that I had where, where I found myself surrounded by nothing but dark water, all right? Uh, for those of you that, that may have had similar dreams or visions, you find yourself like 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 a um I'm a deserted island or in the middle of nowhere or just surrounded by mass by 
a huge mass of, of, of water, like, like you're trapped in the middle of, of, a, of a giant river. Well, you know, with, with no, no near island. Or what, you know what I'm saying? So that's basically, uh, that's basically like the situation I was in and the dream that I saw, that I was in, all right, that, that I saw. I saw myself nearly submerged in dark water, all right, and and it felt kind of real too. You know that 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 that's most dreams for you, man. All right, but the funny thing about it is, I did not seem afraid, nor nor scream, nor nor shouted in horror. You know, I, I was just more like my attitude seemed more like, okay, so. So what happens next? You know what I'm saying? So I guess the Lord, upon seeing that attitude of me, you know, I suddenly heard this voice, all right, in the middle of me being uh, surrounded by nothing but, but black, dark water, right? I heard this voice that said, you know, and he, and he called out my name too. And he said to some extent, as far as I remember the words that were said to me, be neither afraid nor doubt. I, the Lord power of Israel, will lead and guide you in your most, in your most difficult time. And, and you know, and Lord knows, uh, I'm not making this up. I, I, I heard them words for real, all right? And I would not be giving any testimony of it if I did not have that experience. So that was basically the Lord's way of showing me as much as I may sometimes doubt that he's on, that he's on my side, that, you know, he... he, he that's his way of reassuring me, look, man, I got your back. All right? So he has all the rest of his elect men, beginning with the apostles and elders. All right? He's got every one of those he deems worthy. He's got their back, man. All right? If he deems you worthy of his and you're doing the right thing, if you know what I mean, that he's got your back. All right, it's it's as simple as that, man. You know the the that that that's the way the Lord communicates with these dreams, these visions. All right, and basically the the dark water that I that I was nearly submerged in. Right, I didn't felt like I was drowning or nothing. I, I was just like like like. Like just standing in, in the middle of that water, man. All right, and, and the dark water, you know, was really uh, a metaphor for dark times, you know, for 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 them difficult situations, uh, you know, uh, the dark dark times. All right, when when, when you know when, when you go for a real bad time. All right. Let's say you start losing money, all right? Uh, you know, you lose your home, or you go through some some kind of similar, a uh, hard, difficult situation, right? Because that's what the majority of our people go through, all right? Even those, even those uh, of them that so-called make it in this society, all right, that they become these so-called celebrities, uh, rappers, movie stars, they still have, they still go through some kind of tumult in their lives, regardless, because they they fail to realize that they are under these curses, man. All right, and these curses are uh, continue, will continue being with us till to the day the Lord comes back, till to the day. He cracks them clouds open, all right, as you see in that artist's rendering and that image right there, man. That's pretty much very similar, the style and dramatic fashion 
in which the Lord will return on this earth, man, to, to the shock and awe of the rest of the world, all right? Because the, the rest of the world has no idea that he looks anything like that. That, that That's his true likeness right there, all right? And it might be an artist's rendering, but it's indicative of, of what of what to really expect upon his second return, all right? That 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 is that is his ultimate real appearance, man. All right, a a so-called dark-skinned man with with white woolly hair. All right, yeah, that's right. All right, and and that's how he's coming back on this earth, man. All right. That's how he's coming back to his earth, to to this to this earth. He's not coming back to to be mocked, nor humiliated, nor put on a cross like like you know like 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 what happened the first time. Ain't none of that gonna ain't ain't, <laughs> ain't none of that gonna be this time. You know he he's coming back to show that he's the the son of the supreme being. His only begotten son, man. All right? And that he's coming back to claim rightfully what's his, the, the, the possession of the planet Earth and establish his kingdom of heaven on the planet Earth. And, uh, and he will also establish those that he would deem worthy of his chosen elect men of the 144,000 to rule right next to him. All right, so so that that that's what that's what's ultimately coming, and the so-called white man is aware of these prophecies, and it scares him to death, and that's why we are living the times that we're living right now. All right, where our enemies all all they do, all right, our enemies at, at the so-called World Economic Forum. All right, your, your Klaus Schwab's and what have you, the banking elite, they just don't cease in plotting, all right? They come up with plot after plot, new ideas and, and deceptions on how to entrap our people in these last days, entrap them, entrapping them into accepting that MOTB, all right, and taking and taking something that they are not supposed to get, which will ultimately lead to their death and destruction, man. Because the Lord says, he, he, he gives warning, he gives warning already, all right? In the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, right after the 13th chapter, where it tells you uh, how he's going to cause you know, both rich and poor, free and bond, all right, to receive a mark in the left hand or forehead, the Most High goes on to give warning in the following verse, all right, that if that if anyone is to receive that mark, it's, it's, uh, it's nothing but condemnation, all right, okay? And, 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 and you know, you, 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 you're going to, you're going to perish in a horrible way, all right? You're going to die in, in that nuclear fire. You're going to you're going to literally you're going to literally form part of of that lake of fire, man. All right? And nobody in in his or her right mind wants nor wishes to perish that way. So for those that 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 accept taking that mark, hey, that that's how you that's how you're going to end up, man. All right, but basically, basically, all right, Lord willing, all right, the, the, hopefully the, the, this this would get to be an edifying lesson tonight. All right, this will concentrate more on, on the Lord delivering us, delivering his chosen elect, all right, from the current darkness that we're in, that, that them dark waters that I was nearly submerged in, that 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 
that uh, is uh, that I interpret as a metaphor, all right, for the many dark times that I personally have already lived on this planet Earth, all right, a a, a not a not so blessed life, so to speak, all right, a not so good life, all right. Them, them dark waters are were are indicative, all right, were were indicative and predict, you know, the the times that's coming, all right, and ironically enough, right after I had that dream, all right, right after I had that dream and I was surrounded by by them dark waters and and I heard the voice reassuring me, all right. To, to neither fear nor doubt that that the Lord would, would lead and guide me, right? Well, right after I had that dream, that, that was when, you know, uh, my mother my mother caught cancer a, a year later and, and, and died from it a year and a half later. All right? So so that was part of the most difficult times that I had to to learn to confront. So if the Lord was, so if the Lord enabled me to have that capacity, with a situation as difficult as that, then, then you know what I'm saying. Then, then you know that what lies ahead. Okay, the the Lord willing. All right, Abaratasa, He will also. Help me, uh, all right, along with the rest of his chosen elect, confront what's coming, all right? Be able to, you know, gird up your loins like a man, all right? Okay, and, and gird up your mind, all right? And basically have, have that strength, have that kind of mentality, because that's what the Lord requires, man, all right? Endure hardness as a good soldier. All right. If I'm not mistaken, that that that's what Timothy wrote. If I'm not mistaken, the first chapter. All right. So so that's basically the mentality that the Most High what wants His men to have, man. All right. So anyway, I already gave testimony of the dream. All right. And let me just pull this article up real quick. Okay. Now this article here, I'm only going to show or read uh, bits and pieces of it. All right. It's basically detailing what I mentioned earlier about you know what 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 the enemies are plotting what what they have in store for this whole wide world all right cuz even though they they even though they they have this nwo on their minds make no mistake about it that their their primary target is you 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 israelites you so called people of color you so called negroes and Latinos, you are their, their primary target, man. We as a whole are their primary target because they know that we got next, that they know that you so-called people of color will be the next ones to rule this planet Earth. Then they'll try and do anything they can in their present-day power to try and prevent that from happening. All right? So anyway, let's just read a little tiny bit of this here. All right, you see the big, the big bold headline, Claw Schwab, all right, or Cotton Swab, right, warms of an era of shock events. Now, what do you think that means? All right, shock events, all right. Meaning more, 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 more difficult times ahead. That that that's what that means. 
plain and simple. They, they, they want to make it more challenging, more difficult to, to you know, as, as if, like I mentioned earlier, as if, as if our lives were not, have not been difficult enough. They, they want to put even double the strain on a person's head, man. And they get a kick out of that too. Well, guess what? The Most High will get a kick out of out of grieving them and 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 frustrating their plans real soon, man. Plain and simple. All right. So Schwab warns of an era of shock events. All right. And I'm just going to scroll down. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I just want to give you a, 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 a small preview of what it is that they want to bring. All right? And, and, here, and, and, and here they go. All right? Let me see if I could highlight them. I just highlighted it. All right? These are the major shockwave events that the WEF plans to orchestrate. A new global extremist group emerges. Hmm. Whatever, whatever group that might mean. All right. Eventually, we will find out. A cyber pandemic that is intentional. All right. And and they've been warning about this for some time now. Uh, a cyber pandemic, meaning meaning that you won't be able to have any access to the internet whatsoever. No access to your internet or cell phone, all right? And everything else that, everything else that's relatively important and, and has to do with, with this technology, uh, you know, let's say our water system, our food supply, all right, our electricity, all right, all of those things might also get compromised, man. So that's where, that's that's where, also this this major famine. That's where this famine might also have a, a major role, a major play. All right, this famine. All right, that that they 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 want to produce a famine. All right. They, they want to really make so-called humanity suffer so that so that so that they run to them for help and what would be the ultimate solution all right in the middle of such a global crisis that they want to bring up problem reaction solution what would be the ultimate solution according to them all right revelation 13. All right, and he causeth all, both rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their in their left hand or forehead, and the, and that no man might buy or sell. All right, say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred, three score and six. Okay, so that that little mark is that little mark. All right, that that MOTB is is a a, a rice a a rice size electronic device that will be able to to you know it will be able to hold a person's health history, a person's uh, finances, all right? Whatever money you got in the bank, it will all be transferred digitally inside this, this, little, this little device I just mentioned. Every aspect of your life will basically be recorded and stored on that device, man. Plain and simple, that this is what they want to bring to the world, all right? They want to crash this so-called dollar-dollar bill, y'all, in order to bring that, what I just mentioned, all right? 
So a cyber pandemic that is intentional, climate claims, climate change claims its first island nation in the post-pandemic era. All right? So those are free of the so-called uh, shockwave events that they, they, they want to try and orchestrate in these last days, man. And that's all I'm bringing on that, all right? If I don't forget, I might leave this link in the description box, and y'all can just follow and read along, all right? So, so lucky. let me just close this, this window now. And let's go ahead with the, with the scriptures. I, I got the scriptures nice and handy here. All right, and like I said earlier, all right, like I said earlier, the, the Lord basically uh, turned his back on, on our forefathers, all right, because they turned his back on them, and we being their descendants to this very day, you know what I'm saying, we're still yet under these curses, we, we, we are still suffering all right we're still going for hard times and even more hard times lie ahead all right but but what is the the topic of, of tonight's uh our show all right the lord will lead and guide all right he will lead and guide through in, in difficult times all right the lord will lead and guide those of his select in difficult times. All right, so so we are in we are in the beginning stages of of these more difficult times lying ahead, man. All right, so so basically, like I, like I said, uh, you go to Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter, it gives you a full rundown on how the Lord would, would curse our people beginning uh, with our forefathers coming here on the slave ships. All right? Okay, thou, thou shalt re return to Egypt again with ships. All right? And no man shall buy you. All right? M meaning, meaning that there, there's no guaranteed freedom at all until the Lord comes back. Okay, that the, this whole so-called emancipation thing by by Abraham Lincoln—that's all it was, so-called, a fantasy. All right, that's all that was. All right, you so-called Negroes to this very day. All right, uh, just because you're you're not, you you know what I'm saying? Just because you you don't carry shackles or chains on your neck does not necessarily mean that you are entirely free. Plain and simple. All right? So anyway, I'm going to read how this is the book of Lamentations. It's a very, very heavy-duty book. I'm going to read a few verses. I'm going to start at verse 12. All right? How the Lord began the process of, of casting down his people for turning their back on him. And it goes on to say this. Lamentations 3 and 12. He hath bent his bow and set me as a mark for the arrow. He hath caused the arrows of his quiver to enter into my reins. I was a derision to all my people and their psalm all the day. All right? So so those of us like myself have fallen so heavy into these curses coming from a higher power that that we become even a derision. That's basically an, another name for laughing stock. All right? But people laugh at you. They don't take you seriously. They see you as somewhat of a of a funny thing, all right? 
They, they look at and treat you kind of funny. They distance themselves from you. All right? That's what that means. All right? And for better edification, let, 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 let's look up that word derision. All right? Let's look up that word derision, because I have marked, uh, I clicked on Strom's a little earlier. Here we go now. So it basically means laughter, laughing stock, mocking, derision, laughter. All right? Okay, so the majority of our people have, you know, we are in derision. Okay, we, we have become the laughing stock, okay, of, 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 of both the white man and the other nations. Okay, we have become their laughing stock, hey, their derision. All right, that's why Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, if I'm not mistaken, right, goes on to say, when 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 the Edomite, when the Edomite nation, the, the the white man and the other nations, when they get to witness Jacob ascend to his glory, and and that given day, right? There's a verse there that says, "Is this was he who we had in derision?" Okay, well that nigga, that spick, that low life. All right, that 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 goyim, that nobody, that that this laughing stock, he he's ascending up to glory. He's a child of the supreme being. He's a child of God. All right, so that so that's what's getting ready to happen, man. All right, but in the meantime, they still have us as their derision. And the majority of our people, all right, so-called Negroes, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, right, they like to look down at each other, all right, and and you know and you you know what I'm saying. Most often they 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 look more they look down at their own people, man. All right. So 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 we are just a derision, a laughing stock, all right. That their their byword and the proverb, like Deuteronomy twenty eight would say, all right, meaning you you nigger, you spick, you worthless nobody, whatever, all right. Okay. So verse 15, I'm going to read from verse 15 on down. He hath also broken my teeth with gravel stones. He hath covered me with ashes. And thou hast removed my soul far off from peace. I forgot prosperity. All right, so the majority of our people, we, we, we are far from, from having any significant prosperity at this time, okay? All right, verse 18. And I said, my strength and my hope is perished from the Lord. All right. Verse 19. Remembering my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gall. My soul have them still in remembrance, and is humbled in me. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. All right, so, so, so in spite of everything, the Lord still got our back, and he promises redemption for our people in these last days, for those of our people that get their mind right and seek him, not every last one of our people will have that privilege, man. All right? 
You got to seek the Lord and his truth first before he may have mercy on you. Plain and simple. All right. Verse 23. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. All right. The Lord is good unto all them that wait for him to the soul that seek him. It is good that a man should both have hope. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Most High. There you go. All right. Verse 27, it is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. All right, so there you have it. Me, me personally, you know, I have known something of that firsthand, man. All right, bearing the yoke from my youth. All right. All right, so lock it, just bear with with me a moment. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back. So verse 27 again. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence because he hath borne it upon him. He putteth his mouth in the dust, if so be there may, there may be hope. He giveth his cheek to him that smiteth, to him that smiteth him. He is filled full with reproach. All right? So, hey, so that that's basically, you know, people like myself, uh, we, we have had to cope and deal with with mostly reproach in this society, all right, with, with, with words like reproach, derision, all right, being mocked at, being set aside, being shunned at, okay, all right, uh, the, the majority of, of our people, you, you know what I'm saying, uh, so-called Latinos, and I have brought this this very interesting topic up before, all right? Uh, So-called Latinos that 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 appear to look white, they have that pale skin, all right? They tend to look down and even mock other so-called Puerto Ricans or Latinos like myself that happen to have a little color on their skin. You see what I'm saying, all right? So this is why, that's one of the reasons I'm going through, through, through this chapter, for this here book, all right? And I'm going through these verses, all right? Because it does resonate with me on a personal level. It should resonate with those of you who have had similar experiences as well, all right? So... Once again, he giveth, he giveth his cheek to him that smiteth, to him that smiteth him, and he is, and he is filled full with reproach. All right. Verse thirty-one does go so. Verse thirty-one does go on to say, "For the Lord will not cast off forever." But though he cause grief, yet he will have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. All right? And that reminds me of the book of Baruch, the fourth chapter. And I have read that before. All right? Somewhere along the lines where it says, all right, rejoice, something like that, right? 
all right? To some extent, it, it says, all right, for thou shalt be remembered of him that brought these plagues upon thee, all right? Plain and simple, man, all right? So the Lord will remember those of us who he, who he, who he brought these present-day plagues upon in these last days, man. All right? So I'm going to read that again. But though he caused grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. Verse 33. For, for he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. All right? So right now the Lord might be afflicting the majority of us. All right? But you know, you know what I'm saying? He did, he did what he did basically because we, we broke the laws. We turned his back on them. Plain and simple, man. All right? So now, let me go to uh, uh, First Peter, right? Hold on. It's a lot. First Peter four, all right. All right, here, here you go, all right. And I'm gonna read the, the bold headline on top. Share the sufferings of so-called Christ, a real name, Hamashiach. Okay? The, the Lord's real name and, and the and the Hebrew tongue, the, the Lashawan Kadash, right? His real name in, in the ancient Hebrew is Yahawashai Hamashiach. All right? So 1 Peter 4 and 12 goes on to say, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. All right? So, so right now, all right, these, these, these difficult situations, all right, that brothers like myself have had to put up with, all right, and will continue to put up with, all right, until the Lord comes back, are fiery trials, all right? The Lord likes to try his silver in the fire, so to speak, all right? Try his gold over the fire so that it be refined, okay? Okay? So I'm going to read that again. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. All right? So pretty much we are supposed to expect and not taken by surprise, all right, these sudden changes or situations in our current day lives. All right, but verse 13 goes on to say, But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So there you go. All right. Okay, so I, I, I think I've, I've, I've read enough of that right there. All right, verses 12 and 13. All right, now, let, now, now let's go to, uh, I'm going to end it 
Romans, Book of Romans, the eighth chapter. All right. All right, Romans 8 and 18, all right? I'll end, it, I'll end it with that. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right, so the fiery trials, as I just read in and um, and and the book of first first Peter the fourth chapter, all right. And then I read much of Lamentations, all right. And you know, b b basically, all these things the Lord requires, all right. That like it or not, all right, we must uh, go through and just cope with, all right, with as much patience as possible. Until he comes back, man. And hopefully that waiting won't be too long. All right? It won't be too long, man. It, 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 it won't be... It, it won't be another another five or ten years in that waiting, man. All right? We've done much of that waiting game already. And, and then it's almost over. All right? Okay, so once again, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present day time, all the hell that that Esau, the so-called white man, likes bringing unto us, his new policies, his new legislation, all right, him trying to abolish uh, the 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 right to free speech, him trying to abolish the even the use and reading of, of the Holy Bible itself. He wants to try and abolish and make that illegal. All right? So all of, all of that forms part of the sufferings of this present time, but they are not worthy to be compared with the glory to the great future which shall be revealed in us. All right? So there you go, man. All right. So hey, call Allah Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rakakadash. I hope this show was edifying. Shalom.